The first annual Medicine Hat Tiger Skills Competition dazzled the crowd and even some teammates on Thursday, February 23rd. Team Edom went head to head with Team Buns with all proceeds going to the MS Society. It's a lot of fun, but at the same time, you know, this is competitive. Me and Emerson are good buddies and, uh, you know, we want to win uh, just as bad as the other person does. So uh, when we do draft, it's it's fun, but it's got uh, some strategy involved. Uh, we knew what we wanted guys to do as soon as we draft them. This is our second or third time partnering with the Tigers, and they're always great supporters of our s society and our chapter here in Medicine Hats. Well, you know, you know, I'm at, we've been working on this kind of project for about three years now since I got here. You know, you know, Sula Rock, our billet has been diagnosed with MS, and it's, you know, it's, you know, it's something we f we feels important and strong to, you know, get to the, the community and, you know, the, the city of Medicine Hats. Wonderful. Um, we knew that the proceeds from tonight's game were coming to our chapter but we didn't know that the players themselves some of them were raising money on their own so um, this is this check represents the money that was raised by the players and their families seven thousand dollars was raised in partnership with the event and speaking of partnership the first event the fastest skater so line mates Dylan Bredo and Emerson Edom go head to head in the final Flying, you know, that was the fastest, uh, you know, I think I've ever been uh, or went. So, you know, if he can keep up with me, that's, uh, you know, pretty impressive. Well, it feels great. Uh, you know, like I said, any, any event I can help my team win, uh, you know, it's a great feeling. Team Buns took the accuracy shooting thanks to the help of Cole Gerbevac. Luckily, I got uh, Gerbs and uh, Barreto to. Um, you know, shoot, the, shoot them as well as they did. They, they actually got accurate shots, uh, you know, from what I've noticed uh, playing with them. So I wanted to draft them, and I knew, you know, once I got them, that's where I'd put them. Team Edom took the upper hand in puck control. We uh, just won the team relay. Team Edom, I myself was in the pylon race against Trevor Cox. Went over pretty good, and we ended up taking it by uh, about six tenths of a second there, so it was pretty good. Uh, it's great. I got a friend back home who's, uh, whose dad suffers with MS, and I, I just think it's a great cause. And it's, it's great that we were able to put this together in the fundraising that came through was just just unbelievable. The hardest shot contest saw a surprising winner with Dylan Bassinius firing a rocket 93 miles per hour. Uh, pretty good. It's definitely a uh, little weight off the back. I kind of had a little bit of pressure from the team, but I uh, was able to pull through, so it was good. Did you know you could shoot that? Uh, yeah, I was able to shoot the puck pretty hard in my uncle's cap in the summer, so I kind of had an idea I could still shoot it hard. So. One guy was a little sour about his result. I think the radar gun was broken or something. Def definitely wasn't right. He's a little bit upset actually. I think he was expecting his, art to be a little bit, his shot a little, to be a little bit harder. So. And then came the crowd pleaser when the boys brought out their bags of tricks. I think uh, Emerson's shootout move is uh, pretty neat. Uh, McKay's shootout move is pretty, pretty unbelievable. Parky's got good hands and shanks. So uh, I think uh, the, sh the, the showdown shootout is going to be pretty, pretty fun to watch. I'm sure you guys just saw Hunter Shinkarek's stick handling ability. It's just, it's unbelievable how fast and how much time and effort he puts into it. So I think that's what really stands out in this kind of thing. I think Sheener had one of the best moves. You know, he, he, he loves this kind of stuff and uh, this, is, this is his kind of thing. Couple of tricks up the old sleeve, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, the hopefully the fans uh, react well. Me and Cox were kind of figuring it out the whole time, and uh, yeah, we just said we got to think of something pretty creative, and we got to that one. We said we were gonna, he was gonna drop his phone and make a tweet or something like that, or make a text or send a text. But then I said, you know, you should probably call me, and then I'll, I'll tell you where to shoot because I got a pretty good angle on it. So uh, that's what we did. Yeah, no, I think I think it's a great event, and uh, I think for Medicine Hat are the first one, so I think uh, I think the turnout's great, and I think the money we raised was uh, was 
was really good. Great to, great to come out here and, and raise money for MS. And uh, I don't know, my favorite so far, you know, I, it's tough it is to say it's on Team Black, but uh, Emerson's move was pretty sick in the, in the shootout. to eat him on that, uh, I don't even know what it, what to call it, that, that showdown move. And everybody's having much fun. I think the fans really enjoy it, so it's a good event. And Team Buns put the icing on the cake in the breakaway event, being crowned as champion. This might be my last year, and I wanted to do something uh, fun like this, and hopefully it can keep on while, while I'm gone, and um, you know, for years to come. So um, I'm hoping that uh, this isn't the, the only one that uh, the Tigers holds, and um, they can keep something like this going. I guess it is safe to say, though, everyone went home a winner on this night. For Shaw TV, I'm Dave Dawson.